G'day everyone, James here for Mandra Outboards. Well, the summer is certainly upon us and we're really excited today to be seeing another Yellowfin 7000 Southerner leave the dealership and head to its new home. This one's heading to Karatha, and I just thought we'd give a quick uh, walkthrough on this boat today because uh, it's uh, comprehensively packed out with not only uh, some fantastic standard features from Yellowfin itself from the Yellowfin factory, but also some optional extras that the customers decided to put on this boat um, to customise it to exactly his requirements. Like all yellow fins that leave the yellow fin factory, this boat comes in a beautiful aluminium I-beam trailer, a tandem axle aluminium I-beam trailer with uh, an Alco IQ7 electric over hydraulic braking system. So that's all standard and set up, ready to go from the yellow fin factory itself. As we continue to make our way forward, um, this boat's likely gonna end up on some unsealed roads and it's doing a long, long trip to Karatha. So to look after the paintwork and to look after the boat itself, the owners decided to put a deflector stone guard on the front. With the deflector stone guards, we love them because we still have very easy access thanks to the zippers. We can still access our catch and release system and our trailer winch very easily. They're Aussie made. Uh, they only take probably a couple of hours to install for the guys in the workshop. And when you're spending a lot of money on a boat, it's nice to be able to look after the paint job and not have to fear about stone chips or cracks uh, further down the line. Um, just on top of the deflector stone guard, we can see the boat's been fitted out with the Ming Coda, um, a Riptide Altera. So certainly not the first yellow fin that those watching have probably seen uh, on, on the front of a yellow fin. But yeah, 72 inch, 36 volt uh, battery system. You'll see where we've mounted the batteries a little bit later on with a 36 volt battery charger. And for those doing any sorts of fishing, we absolutely love them. Self-deploy, um, yeah, just absolutely love them. Hang on that spot, do what you gotta do. Don't have to use the anchor winch as much and they're just great for all round types of fishing. Um, in the front as well, we've also got an electric anchor winch system. We like to use the Bell Marine Viper electric anchor winches. We use the uh, we use the thousand uh, watt winch. They're a fully stainless steel um, winch. The drum's fully stainless, and the um, the motor itself's uh, covered in stainless as well. So they're a really good quality winch. We run the Sarka anchor like all the yellow fins do, and we've had a really good run with them. So at the back, we've got our beautiful 3.4 liter V6, 225 horsepower Merc four stroke. I think just about every 7,000 Southerner that's left the dealership is left with a 3.4 liter V6 on the back. We absolutely love them. They've been, this platform has been around for four or five years now. They are super, super, super quiet. You will not find a quieter 225 horsepower or even 200 horsepower four stroke out in the market. Even if you're watching my friend's videos, Mr. Goodchild from Brisbane Yamaha, ask him, Aaron, why does James say that the, that the Mercs are so much quieter than the Yamahas? I'd happy to put them toe to toe with him any day. I love Aaron, he's a good friend of mine and he'll find that uh, quite enjoyable. So 3.4 litre V6 on the back. Um, pushes the boat out to around 37, 38 knots at a top speed. If you're cruising around sort of 3,800 to 4,000 RPM, uh, you should be getting at least 1.6, 1.7 kilometers per litre up on the plane very nicely. Now standard from uh, Yellowfin as well is the zip weight trim tabs. They are a must have on these boats. They're very easy to use. Well, you barely even use them. They're an automatic system. You don't even have to touch them. You just leave an automatic and they just do what they need to do. Um, they're a fantastic system. Transducer on the back and also our burly bucket, burly bucket and rear dive ladder. So let's hop in the boat now and you'll see what we've done up inside. First things first, the flooring. Now the floor comes with checker plate as standard from the Yellowfin factory. For a lot of people, yeah, it's too hot, uh, especially in the Australian summer. So there's a few ways we can go about it. You can put your marine flooring, your EVA type flooring down, which we've done on a lot of boats as well, and we do highly recommend that. It is a little bit price heavy. Um, so if you want to, you can also put this product down called Vinylite. We've had a fantastic run with that. We get it uh, supplied locally, and, and the guys in the workshop fit it here. It looks quite nice. It's very tough wearing. Um, in saying that, if you want to get rid of it after a few years, you literally just pull it up and throw it out of the boat and it's all done and gone, then you can do whatever you so please. You can obviously leave the checker plate as it is, or if you wanted to carpet the floor, you could as well. But the vinyl light is a very cost-effective way to take a lot of heat out of the boat and just soften the ride up a little bit underneath, uh, underneath foot. Now, a lot of standard features from Yellowfin you'll see as we're up at the top here. Our beautiful um, drivers and passenger seats. We've got our relax um, folding rod holders as well. Easy access up top. We've got three rod holders either side, stainless steel rod holders. Our rear dive ladder, uh, sorry, our rear transom um, door. Very easy to use and anyone, anyone can stand on that. We've got our yellowfin bait station. We absolutely love these. Cutting our bait on top, more rod holders on top. 
cup holders on the sides or sinker cups and tackle trays in there and that's completely lockable. Plumbed live bait tank from factory as well. Now, underneath our seats, underneath the driver's seat here, we've got our three batteries for our Minn Kota system. So three 12 volt batteries, you can either have three 12 volt AGMs, you can have three 12 volt lithiums, or we can even put a 36 volt lithium in there as well. There's also a Pro Mariner um, 36 volt battery charger in there as well, because we do need to charge that 36 volt system. Um, we can't do that with the 12 volt system of the motor or the crank and the original house batteries, so we just leave that as a separate circuit up front. And then on the passenger side, next to us, We've got power here, because the owner's already got his um, own um, 12 volt uh, angle. So we've put an Anderson plug here for power and an angle fridge slide so he can slide that in and out and use that as a reversible seat as well. And while we're down here, this is our yellow fin deck wash. Come standard from factory. There's our deck wash hose. And on this boat, we've also got another one. White for fresh water, because we have created our own 40 litre fresh water system as well. Bit of a different shower head, just for the shower. You don't need as much pressure. You just want to have a nice shower. We've got a, uh, we put a switch in just for the fresh water system whilst we're running our, our deck wash switch at the front. It's come down from factory. And if we jump in the cabin, you can just see to my right, there's our 40 litre fresh water tank with a fresh water pump in there as well. So um, yeah, for those looking to put a bit of fresh water in the boat, but still wanting to maximize, uh, you know, just deck space. If you want to run just the normal um, yellow fin style split lid esky, or you want more storage underneath your driver's seats and passenger seats, or you want to run the 12 volt uh, fridge option as well, that's a great idea. Um, you can put the, um, look, it does shorten up your, your sleeping room a little bit. We have had to shorten the, the cushion up in there um, to fit the 40 litre fresh water tank in. That fresh water tank, that 40 litre fresh water tank pump and hose can also fit perfectly inside one of these. So if you thought, no, okay, I'm not gonna put a Minn Kota on the front, I'm happy having an Esky out on the deck or an Esky under the passenger seat or a 12 volt fridge under the passenger seat or whatever combination you may wish to have. For those who are interested and anyone around the country should be able to do it from wherever you're watching, you can get a 40 litre fresh water tank underneath there. And just to conclude, our electronics at the front, we've got our zip weight controller, um, just here, our 12 inch Simrad NSS system, our Mercury vessel view screen where we're seeing all of our engine data. We've put a Fusion uh, RA60 uh, AM, FM and Bluetooth stereo system in the boat as well. And actually, how could I forget? Solar system. We've got our Red Arc solar charger uh, just there, or our, um, our monitor, so we can see what our solar panels are charging at. We've put a 180 watt solar panel on the roof with an LED light bar. So a few of the things we've added beyond factory, um, the solar system, the LED light bar, um, the fusion stereo system, they do those at the factory. We put our own in because the owner wanted a couple of different speakers. He wanted a bit more oomph in them. So we did that for him. Uh, the Minn Kota we did here as well, the fresh water system and the angle fridge, fridge light as well. But ultimately, a beautifully packaged up boat. We're really, really excited to see the boat head up to Karatha. I know that Neil and his family are gonna have many, many, many um, great adventures out in the boat, catching fish, diving, swimming, island trips, and, and everything and beyond. If you're interested in a Yellowfin uh, and you're based in WA, please feel free to get in touch. We're manager outboards. You can get in touch with us on 9581 7224. My name's James. Um, you can get in, touch with, uh, get in touch with us on the socials as well through Facebook or Instagram or at mandraoutboards.com.au. We're happy to help. Clearly, we, um, you know, we, go to, we go to great ends and great lengths to customise um, these beautiful boats um, to exactly how people like them. We absolutely love the Yellowfins. They've got a, a, a beautiful six mil hull full of foam, they're an extremely quiet hull in the water. Uh, we've been selling them uh, since 2018, we absolutely love them. Um, there's many, many a Southerner out there um, that, that our customers enjoy. We can barely find a second hand one in WA because there's that many um, people who just enjoy them and love holding on to them. So if you're out there and you're interested in one, you'd just like to find any more information out, or you've even, you might already have a yellow fin and you wanna make a few additions or, or upgrades to it, please feel free to get in touch and we're happy to help. Thanks very much and um, look forward to hearing from you. Cheers.